Hi everyone, welcome to episode six of our Vintage Made Modern series. Today we're gonna talk about chapter five in the Vintage Notions book. I'm gonna flip open to this chapter and share with you one of my favorite illustrations in the openers. This is a beautiful illustration that has, um, I love the umbrella, I love the print on her dress, and these were out of the fashion service issues that you'll remember I've talked about previously in the introduction and preview for this series. The theme of this month is a thimble full of faith. And you can see we have here Mary's essay that was from the 1924 issue of her Thimblefuls of Friendliness book. I'm going to flip over and take a quick note of this hat because later on I'm going to show you some more hat patterns and um, inspiration. Next up we have an essay in the inspiration department speaking of inspiration, and I'm going to quickly read to you this quote. Um, no girl can ever truly appreciate her mother until she has children of her own and finds herself loving, planning, and sacrificing for them. Then she can understand how her mother felt and be grateful and humble and appreciative in proportion. Mary Brooks Pickin. So... Love that. You'll enjoy reading the essays, but let's move on to some of the content related to sewing and needle and thread. So what we have here is a little essay from the sewing department on sewing for children. And I wanted to bring and show you a fun book that we have created or republished that is called The Sew It Book. Um, when I think about sewing for children, I think about sewing with children. And this is the this is the book, the Sew It book. I thought it'd be fun to share with you the original version that I was able to acquire. And we edited this version slightly, added an essay at the beginning that explains the relevance and and the um, projects included. And you'll see in this issue, it has a darling opener, and then it has just all kinds of fun projects, everything from tie-dye to cross-stitch um, to raffia flowers, um, a little bit of everything. And I love this illustration. This might be my, one of, honestly, one of my favorite illustrations I've ever found. Um, you'll see, the darling little button people, the thimble character, charming. All right, so let's move on. And we're gonna remember, I had talked about hats, but first we're gonna talk about the magic pattern this month. And it is, there. actually it's several magic patterns that you get, several different scarves that you see pictured here. And I wanted to quickly share when it comes to Vintage Made Modern, we have the modern patterns at Indigo Junction, and this is one of our most popular patterns, and it is the Infinity Pocket Scarf. So the unique thing about this Infinity Scarf is it has a hidden pocket, which is great for traveling and things like that, and, um, or hiding money if you're going out, maybe your ID. Even a cell phone can actually fit in this pocket. And this one is recycled, and we used menswear. So um, how much fun to be able to use the po back pocket from um, uh, pants and create scarves. We also give you the option to piece a scarf with multiple fabrics in this pattern. Um, so there you have it, the magic pattern this month. And here we have the, the Department of Millinery, which I mentioned. And that is the department that just um, always has fabulous illustrations to look at. In this chapter, um, you can see where we took the black and white and actually went in and added the color. Um, the, the, it, this article talks about how purses were coordinated with hats as far as embellishment, but you can see here where a scarf is coordinated with the hat um, and with applique flowers. Quickly, 
hats that we have that are vintage made modern at Indigo Junction. This is our reversible sun hat. And we have it both in the adult size as a pattern. Um, and then here's the child's version. So um, there you can see just a great hat that is allows for um, the ponytail to be pulled through on the back and it allows for you to tie it. So it's depending on um, the, your size, it fits everybody. And where did this pattern idea come from? Vintage Made Modern. So I'm gonna share it with you. I picked up this bonnet, I will call it, or hat, at a, um, I'm not sure if I got it at an antique show or a flea market, but you can see here, it had a drawstring to tie it in the back. It has a nice brim. Um, you can see the fabric is a fun, a vintage print. So there you have it, our vintage inspiration for our modern Indigo Junction reversible sun hat. Thanks so for much for watching the video and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and be sure to sign up for our e-newsletter list. Thanks for watching.